Hi, everybody. Welcome to This Week in Falmouth. I'm Michael. And I'm Susan. And it's hey. the end of the month. Yeah, it kind of went fast, right? Yeah, yeah. We are now entering the fourth quarter of this year. No, football Isn't that season. crazy? I'm not, I wasn't right. meaning to make a football reference, but... You know, <laughs> but, it's, but, it's, but you know, if the shoe fits, you're right. The fourth quarter plus for a football season, leaves are starting to turn. Yeah, I was football. thinking more of a fiscal reference. <laughs> true, true. Yes, a as seasonal well. rest reference too. Yeah, not going on. So, uh huh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it keeps coming. All this this great stuff to do. Yeah, yeah. We're going to start out with um, the walking tours at. Uh, Falmouth Museums on the Green, those continue uh, into October. So Great. this went, and then there's five different tours and they take place on different days of the week. So okay. on Wednesday's tour is the Village Green, Famous Residence, Falmouth Firsts, and Favorite Spots. Learn about several Falmouth citizens, see a house full of Falmouth Firsts, and visit one of Falmouth's favorite places. Very good. And of course that meets over at the Hallett Barn. Uh, it leaves at 10 o'clock sharp, and I think it's about 75 or so minutes long. Nice. Yep. Nice. Wear your comfy shoes. Absolutely. And and it, uh, it if it rains, they won't be having it. So um, on Thursday, September 30th, uh, the uh, basic entrepreneurial workshop, Understanding Business Financials with Cape Cod 5. This is a collaboration of Seed Corporation, Cape Cod Five, the US SBA, Massachusetts Small Business Development Center, and SCORE. That's quite a collaboration, isn't it? <laughs> That's an outstanding collaboration. All these people coming together to provide the tools that people need. It's amazing. It's right, really and these are free. These are free workshops. Uh, this is a virtual entrepreneurial workshop in which participants will learn how to read and interpret a balance sheet, income statement, and ca cash flow statement and keep on top of their business finances. It also explains how a small business, business owner can anticipate financial needs in order to operate the business more efficiently through a deeper understanding of their financial picture. Uh, it's open to anyone currently in business, starting a business, or thinking about someday owning a business. So pretty much, if you've got business on the mind, this is for you. Um, it's also uh, for business assistance professionals who'd like to learn more about SEED's technical assistance programming. Uh, you will be provided with a free business plan guide that includes financial templates, and you'll be introduced to free and confidential business assistance resources. And there are a lot of them out there. Pretty outstanding. You know, you'd be surprised um, you come across how many folks who really don't have um, a full understanding of financials. And really, it just takes somebody showing you the right way mm -hmm. and taking some time to learn. It's not that difficult. It mm -hmm. takes a little bit of time, but it's a great opportunity. If you're unsure, get out there, take advantage of this, this amazing opportunity. Definitely. Right? Definitely. Yeah. And then these are all organizations that provide free assistance afterwards. So if you have further questions or something else comes up with your business and you need a little help, you've got a lot of uh, support out there through these organizations. On Thursday, September 30th, uh, from 10 to 11.30, the Center for Corporate and Professional Education through four C's is presenting a Zoom um, managing like a coach. Managing like a coach delves into exploring possibilities, creating open, open communication channels, challenging assumptions, partnering and supporting long-term growth, which benefits both the employee and the organization. Shifting into coaching mode while managing people can help empower employees, encourage solution-minded engagement and create more effective relationships that will allow managers to better leverage skills, knowledge and abilities. This is, um, there's a nominal cost for, for this, and that's through four C's. Um, another, great, another, great, another, just another great opportunity to learn, take the time. You have professionals showing you what to do, and you'd be surprised. You can just pick up a couple things and fine tune. You can, you know, pump your team up and just get more production and make yeah. people happy. Run your business better, make it more productive for you, Absolutely. and and less stressful. Uh, valuing diversity and relationship management. 
This is another workshop provided by the Center for Corporate and Professional Education by Zoom. It's virtual. Um, Thursday, September 30th from 3 to 4.30 p.m. It's a 90-minute session, provides an opportunity for interactive self-discovery and group dialogue about differences, similarities, and establishing alliances. Some topics include personal style differences, navigating workplace interactions, creating alliances, communicating across different generations, and diverse descriptors. Sign up for all three stuff. This is just amazing stuff right there. Yeah. Yeah. The last three yeah it, as a matter of fact, go on to their website, the Center for Corporate and Professional Education, and there are uh, many, many, many courses available. They are all nominal, nominally priced. A lot of them are done self-paced online, and um, and it gives you a good um, basement for your skill set. Sure. I mean, who needs to go to business school? You get all this stuff right here. The cost yeah. is right. You're local. Yeah. You figure it out. And rock and roll. That's excellent. Yeah, you it's just go. amazing. Amazing. Uh, switching gears entirely. Thursday, September 30th, um, 5 p.m. to, I have to get used to this uh, military time, though I grew up with this military time, it's been a while. <laughs> 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> the, at the Navigator Portuguese American Association, they will be having a bingo night at a ah. bigger party vendor bingo and shopping event. <laughs> Susan and I love bingo. Bingo is yeah. cool. Bingo. <laughs> bingo is cool. I haven't played in years, but bingo is cool. Yeah. It's a fun thing. So that's uh, awesome. <laughs> on Thursday, September 30th at 7 p.m., Falmouth Jewish Congregation hosts free virtual book council talk, Dare to Speak. Uh, leading free expression advocate Suzanne Nozzle, CEO of Pen America, in conversation with best-selling author Larry Tai, argues that we can and must uphold the rights of individuals to speak their minds while also working assiduously to build a more equitable, inclusive public culture committed to dismantling racism and other forms of bigotry. And that's the Falmouth Jewish Congregation. Again, September more, 3rd, you know, not to cut you off, but again, you know, the, the incredible thought-provoking information that, that the congregation puts on it's just uh -huh. you know, one thing after another you're talking about these there's something for everybody and it's just all about learning lifelong yeah. learning and yeah it just is so many amazing things going on yeah and a lot of that was kind of put on hold for the last year because of COVID, but it's starting to ramp back up again some of Wonderful. it in person some of it virtually and some of it on a hybrid model so um there's a little bit of every you know it it's good for everyone's um, risk um, tolerance. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, September 30th through October 17th, Thursdays through Saturdays at 7.30 and Sundays at 2 p.m. Our friends at the Katuit Center for the Arts over on uh, in uh, Katuit is presenting Muskrat Love, a celebration of the songs we hate to love. <laughs> <laughs> That was during my time in high school, Muskrat Love. So I'm very well aware that that got played to death. I remember it too. <laughs> muskrat, wait, what were their names? Muskrat something, Muskrat Sam? S Susie and Sam. Did Susie, Susie and Sam do the get a party Sam, Muskrat? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone has a special soft spot in their hearts for the songs nice. they grew up hearing on the radio, even those we hate to love. Katuit Center for the Arts and Malcolm Granger are proud to present Muskrat Love, a staged comic review in two acts. This brand new original show showcases some of the worst songs of the 60s and 70s uh, and features uh, many favorite Cap Cod performers. <laughs> oh my God, what a hoot. That's right. When I graduated from high school, the song was, for our class was, Do You Know Where You're Going To? <laughs> really? Yeah. When I graduated from nursing school, the song for our class was, do you know where you're going to? <laughs> I hate that song. <laughs> if the shoe fits, right? Oh, yeah. I hate that. I know. Uh, Songs love to hate. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're going to go back to the Center for Corporate and Professional Education, Project yep. Management Essentials. This is October 1 through 8, uh, Fridays for two weeks from 9 to 3.30 p.m. It will allow you to take a deep dive into the roles and responsibilities of the project manager, examining project management in theory as well as in practice, 
Uh, it offers a practical approach to managing projects without requiring any previous experience. Participants focus on organizing, planning, and controlling the deliverables of the project using good practices. Yeah. On uh, Friday, October 1st, 7.30 to 10.30 p.m., the Cornelia Clapp Auditorium, which used to be the um, Lilly Auditorium on 7 MBL Street. Um, I'm sorry, that's 8.30. Um, <laughs> uh, we'll be pre presenting the MBL Falmouth Forum from the MacArthur, Mar MacArthur Fellows to Investing in Climate Solutions. Join us in person or attend virtually. This is one of those hybrid events. In this session of the Falmouth Forum, the president of the MacArthur Foundation, John Palfrey, will discuss the grant making the foundation is doing in the US, India, Nigeria, and elsewhere around the world, as well as changes it is making to how the foundation invests its $8 billion endowment. Wow, amazing, yeah. that's great. It'd be interesting. Now I'm gonna talk about this because I think it, people need to know it's happening. The registration ended yesterday. You, you okay. can always you know, check and see if there's a possibility you can squeeze in. Uh, this is a Where Are the Wings scavenger hunt. It takes place on Saturday, October 2nd, uh, starts at 11 o'clock. The rain date is Sunday, October 3rd. Uh, this is a fundraiser for Wings for Falmouth Families um, and starts at Falmouth Marina Park. Uh, your flock will have to work together, unlocking the secrets of each waypoint and following the clues to find 10 hidden treasures across town. But you can't just walk away with the treasure. Place your best bet on the sealed bid auctions of fabulous items and exciting experience packages at each nest. Keep moving. Trophies will be awarded to the first, second, and third place finishers, so don't be a turkey. St <laughs> Struggling with a clue? Falling behind? You need a wingman. Radio back to Goose for a hint that will keep you from getting inverted. Calls for a hint from the wingman ain't free. So show us you still have that loving feeling. Buy a couple in advance and your flock will buzz the tower in record time. And if your flock has the need for speed, buy a flyover pass and skip a challenge. Let your team spirit fly high. Even if a seagull steals your hot dog, your team still might have a chance to win one of the Dodo Awards for best team name and best decorated car. Love it. That's that great. is creative. Yeah, that That's, is super creative. I love it. Great. <laughs> um, again, it, supposedly the registration entered yesterday, ended yesterday, but if you don't ask, you don't get. So maybe right. there's a possibility you can still get right. in there. Yeah. Right. Um, on Saturday, October 2nd, from noon to two o'clock, uh, the Falmouth Police Department is celebrating their open their hundredth anniversary anniversary with an open house. Uh, that's at 750 Main Street. There will be tours of the fire station. I mean, the police station. Why did I say that? Tours of the police station. Activities for children. Canine demonstration. The Mass State Police helicopter. Other displays of police related equipment um and more come share some food and some conversation with the Falmouth Police Department and there's a rain date of October 3rd on this great be a lot of people on, coming out it's gonna be a lot of fun I think so yeah I think there will be a lot of people coming out for that on uh, Sunday October 3rd from 8 a.m to 5 p.m the Buzzards Bay watershed ride takes place uh start line is Sacanet Point in Little Compton, Rhode Island, and the finish line is the MBL Swope Center in Woods Hole, Massachusetts. Enjoy the scenic landscapes of the South Coast and Cape Cod while raising support for the protection of watershed lands and clean water at the Buzzards Bay Watershed Ride. Choose your own adventure from 100 mile, 75 mile, or 35 mile overlapping cycling routes that wind past coastal farmlands, windswept beaches, cranberry bogs, and scenic harbors between Rhode Island and Cape Cod. All riders are fully supported with food and beverages all day, welcoming volunteers and sag wagons with ace bike mechanics and first aid. They also have uh, some um, um, shuttles arranged between Woods Hole and Second Net Point. And that information is on our website and the links to get to their website, Buzzards Bay Watershed Drive for, for the complete information. Excellent. Yep. On uh, Sunday, October 3rd, from 9 to 12.30 p.m. at Highfield Hall, uh, they're having the encaustic workshop, learn how to paint with beeswax and color. 
In this mm. workshop led by award-winning New, New England artist, Deborah Claffey, you will learn the basics of working with beeswax and pigment, layering, fusing, incising, embedding, including using the material safely and efficiently. And caustic is a Greek word meaning to heat or burn in. Uh, and heat is used throughout the process from melting the wax to varnishing, diffusing the layers of wax and adding colored pigments. Uh, wow. You'll take, take home two pieces of original artwork and basic materials will be provided and is suitable for ages 16 and older. Awesome. On I've Sunday, never heard of that October before. 3rd, 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. You know about this, the second annual FCTV Rotary Auction. You want to tell us about it? So there'll be an auction that's going to benefit the Falmouth uh, Rotary Club as well as FCTV. Uh, I'll be co-hosting it again this year with Adrian Bauman. It's a lot of fun. And it'll go from 4 p.m. till 8 p.m. There'll be lots of donated items that are going to be up for bids for auction. Uh, all the proceeds do benefit those great organizations. So take some time, tune in, mm -hmm. uh, check it out. It's just some live bidding going on. You'll be able to go online and bid uh, while you're watching the programming. And the good news is, I think, right, it'll be done before the Patriots game. So, yes, it uh, will right, be. The Patriots start at 820. So, yes. um, while you're doing your, your pre Patriot game party, tune in and uh, support these two great organizations. Yeah. It's my understanding that the first annual auction was very successful. And it was a lot of fun. It was successful. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Really amazing. Very generous people that are donating a lot of their uh, talents, a lot mm -hmm. of. Uh, items and services that um, then get translated obviously into uh, into dollars when people bid and buy them. And, and those those monies are used by both SCTV and the uh, Rotary Club of Falmouth, two outstanding mm -hmm. organizations. Two very good organizations. Um, we're gonna go back to the Center for Corporate and Professional Education. They are providing a, a, a class on practicing real life Brazilian Portuguese. This is level two. October 5th through the 28th, Tuesdays and Thursdays for four weeks, 7 to 8.30 p.m. Uh, it's designed to expose participants to more structured, simple daily conversations, giving and retrieving information to fill out forms and learning and practice the use of the simple past. If you, if you attended the level one program or you're looking to build upon your introductory knowledge of Brazilian Portuguese, this program is for you. And I happen to know, because I saw it um, that they're, in November, they're gonna be replaying the November, the um, level one uh, Brazilian Portuguese course. Yeah. Awesome. And then I'm gonna step out here for one second, because I was just given a hot off the press. Ooh, I love the hot off the press stuff. What's happening? <laughs> This is the Woods Hole Film Festival Best of the Fest at Katuit Center for the Arts, nice. where they showcase some of the movies that were uh, that were considered best at the uh, Woods Hole Film Festival. On Sunday, October third, will be for the Left Hand. Um, at age ten, aspiring pianist Norman Malone is paralyzed on his right side after being attacked by his father. Over the next se several next decades, he masters left-handed repertoire in secret. Um, he was a pianist. Um, and then there was a, a discovery that he could play the piano with just his left hand. And at the age of 78, so he kept the secret for a long time, he wow. performs the greatest work in the canon, Ravel's Piano Concerto for the Left Hand. Wow. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, they always have an incredibly interesting yeah. film. Anyway. Oh, very, very thought prov provoking. On Monday, October 4th, Peace by Chocolate. After the bombing of his father's chocolate farming fam factory, a charming young Syrian refugee struggles to settle into his new Canadian small town life. Best of the Fest shorts will be on Tuesday, October 5th, and Son of Fukushima, Wednesday, October 6th, which is the story of a family profoundly impacted by both nuclear tragedies, Hiroshima and Fukushima. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and talks about the relationship of man to nature. And that's best of the fest. And that's what I'll leave you with. That's awesome. I love it. That's just great. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing stuff between education and entertainment. Um, Fundraising. Wow. And fun. And we say it all the time. And then, of course, honoring the 100th anniversary of the Fallon Police Department. Mm -hmm. um, you know, some of the great, all this great community stuff. I mean, boy, we're so lucky to, to be living here. You know? We are. So have a good week. Make it a great one. We'll see you next week.